Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, tonight, I got a few things to talk about. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is that gem pile I have up there. That's an insane amount of gems I never thought I would have free to play. Uh, but I also refused to do tasks for pretty much like the first nine months that I played the game. And then, I don't know what it was, I guess it was boredom of not having anything to grind on the game that made me just decide one day, you know what, screw it, I'm going to start doing the tasks. And I guess it's a good thing I did, because uh, I got all those gems, but really it kind of sucked because I put like hundreds of hours into doing slots, which, I mean, they were AFKable, you were able to just like leave a second phone in the background. So they're not the worst tasks. Um, you can see the tasks that I did by coming in here, uh, they do have some incredible, you know, that's all 5k gems for 7 days worth of work, uh, but I'm guessing that, you know, you don't get very much other time to do anything else, like, you probably have to play 12 hours a day for 7 days, if not more, that would be my guess, and I've never played that game, so I don't know, but I have ongoing ones that didn't have a time limit. And these are the ones I've done since playing. So that's that's where the gems came from. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to go over the top 25 PvP like I did last season. Uh, I used my handy dandy notebook. Um, also, I'm still trying to work on getting the Black Feather cheaper uh, when I get that down to roughly 40, which I'm guessing will be like one day and 18 hours left, somewhere around there. I will try to buy it, and then I will try to buy the last one for as cheap as possible. Try to get that key, and I will spend all of my keys, or all of my compasses getting extra cells so that I can rank Black Feather, and then I will probably flash rank him a couple of times just to play test with him and my... Uh, Total Control uh, Legend Anticipation Team, but tonight's video is going to be PvP focused. Um, I want to go over what I went over uh, last season, which is uh, I went through the top 25 and I counted all the monsters that were in like the teams, meaning uh, whether it was on their defense or their offense, I tallied, you know, like how many Simuses there were, how many Santas there were, how many Nors there were in the top uh, 25. And last season, we determined that Lonrad was the most used um, free-to-play mythic at 17 of them in the top uh, 25, and we determined that uh, Day was the second most with 13, and uh, Simus was the third most with 11. And uh, the fourth most was Erder with eight. The fifth was Moonhaze with eight. The sixth was uh, Nora. And the seventh was Glamhead. And eight was Krusty. And that was as far as that I basically kept track of because the rest didn't have any in it. Well, this, this time I went a little bit more in detail. Like, instead of just doing free-to-play, uh, I went with all, all monsters. Uh, and... It's, it's, I'm pretty sure everybody could guess uh, which monster was the most used monster in the top 25. Uh, it was Vanos. Um, there's 22 copies of him in the top uh, 25. That means only three players aren't using Vanos in the top 25. That's what that means. And then uh, there were 19 copies of Ignis in the top 25. Um... That makes, yeah, I'm going to go in order. And now uh, Lonrad, there were 16 copies in the top 25. Odana, there were 13. Day, there were 12. Kodama, there were 8. Simus, Moonhaze, and Bombetta all have 6. Erger has 5. Hardy has 4. Uh, and then Santa, Nora, Blaze, Glamhead, and Armorclaw all have 3. And then Neasel, Tremor, Cybrella, Graken, and Wormlad all have 2. And then our mule, Dr. Watts, Madame, Pumpkin, uh, or Pump Seed, uh, Froma, Thunder Kong, Mr. Beast, and Brute all had one copy. So with that information, I want to compare it to the other information that I, that I just mentioned. So comparing it to last season's information, um, 
And this was also taken in the beginning of last season, meaning basically I waited a couple days just to let the uh, the league kind of get a flow of what's going on. Then I check again towards the end so that I get a real seriousness of what's going on. I just didn't tally it last time. Uh, but when looking at uh, Lawn Red, which was the most used free-to-play last time, there were 17 and now there's 16, meaning he is consistently the go-to free-to-play uh, monster to be ranking up or to be focusing on adding to your arsenal if you don't already use him. Meaning if you're somebody who heavily relies on Wormlad, I think he's your replacement for him. He's your upgrade. Uh, I'm very curious to see how all the copies of Kodama, meaning I was like, I was surprised to see eight copies of Kodama in the top 25 just because of how much shit people talked on Kodama on the Discord server. It made me think like, I thought they hated Kodama, whereas I myself, I thought it was a Reswok. I mean, of course, it's got CDA bonus and stuff, but I thought you were using it to beat those Lonrad teams. Uh, the next one, though, is Erder. Uh, and Erder, he's, he's down to five copies, meaning some left, the, like only one Lonrad left, and three Erders left, and a ton of Simus have left, meaning we had 11 copies of Simus last season, and now we only got six. But we added in eight copies of Kodama, which kind of like... Kodama and Simus might be fighting over the same role in some situations. That might be my, that's my take on why Simus has dropped so much. But uh, Moonhaze has also stayed pretty consistent. We lost two copies. There were eight, and now there's six. Uh, Bombette is new to the mix, uh, and there's six copies of it. But Day actually stayed about the same. There were 13 last time, and there's 12 now. And that's even with the add-in of six new bomb, like six new bombettas to the top twenty-five. So, so yeah, there's definitely some notes notes there to be had. And then Hardy only had four copies, which I thought was kind of low, but uh, he's still there. He's he's definitely in the top twenty-five. There's four copies of him. And the reason why I'm going over all this is because I have all those gems. And I really need to decide, like, what I'm going to do with the gems. And flash ranks could be the easiest way to increase my um, performance in PvP. But at the same time, flash ranks are kind of like the, a quick way to waste your gems because monsters get outdated so quick and they release new monsters. But I was thinking that maybe I can resource manage, meaning maybe there are monsters that I need to be flash ranking to, like, rank 4 so that I have, like, 6 140 monsters across my attack team and defense team that I'm pretty happy to hold on to for a while. And so like when I'm looking at this, the one monster that really stands out to me is Lonrad, and he's the only monster that I didn't actually rank up when there were no flash ranks. Why? Because I was really mad that there were no flash ranks. Like I would have took my Moon Haze and my Lonrad and my Day all the way up as high as I could have with my gems had it still been there. Um but when I ranked my Moon Haze, I therefore made it cost too much to bring up the Flash Rank offer again. Meaning I'm going to have to spend 1500 Amber to even be able to get a Flash Rank offer for Moon Haze. Not saying I won't do that or that I'm not going to do that. I'm not sure, guys. I'm really like, I'm tight with my wanting to spend my gems, but at the same time, I'm also starving for something more in the game something more exciting to be doing than just getting my ass beat all the time but uh lonrad might be the guy that uh i think we've already got eights on him and i think that can hold up well if i could just get his rank up a bunch so i'm thinking he's going to be the first one that gets flash ranked other than the black feather because i want to play test with black feather I'm going to try and take Black Feather to rank 3, play this with him some, uh, and that'll all be on video. And then in the video, decide whether or not to take him to rank 4 based off how much fun we can have playing with him in PvP. And in the next couple of weeks, hopefully I know exactly which monsters I want to uh, flash rank. And I want to try to keep it with 3 or less, meaning I don't want to flash rank more than 3 monsters because I really don't see 3 monsters being being used for, you know, months 
months on end. Uh, I'm, I know there will be monsters that get used for months on end. I just I don't think I'm bright enough to know exactly which ones they're going to be that are free to play anyway. Uh, Erder is another one that stands out pretty big to me. Um, mainly because I get beat up by him a good bit in PvP too sometimes. Uh, and it's not even on the area dodge, area dodge taunt teams. Like that's probably like the only team with Erder that I actually beat. Like there's teams that I run into that have like Erder and Laundred and and Simus or something, and it's it's just so hard to deal with, man, because if you trait disable him that doesn't stop him from casting that damn shield on himself the next turn or hitting you very hard. Like, he's so annoying. And then if Simus CDAs you, you don't have trait disable unless you brought a tank. And I haven't been using a tank, so basically Simus CDAs me. My Tanya can't trait disable. And then I'm shit out of luck on trying to deal with Urter. And then Urter just beats the hell out of me with usually just uh, one life rune and two strength. Like, that's pretty much the way that I, I've been dominated by him. Simons does a lot of domination on me. Uh, which means Kodam is going to start doing the same dominating that Simons was doing. Because I'm seeing 150 Kodamas in PvP. They are fast as shit. And they're CDAing me just like Simons would. Stamina, stamina is not the issue when it comes to <laughs> getting your ass beat via a, a Kodama. It's speed, because you being too slow for her is what becomes an issue. Uh, in my opinion, Ignis is the best monster in the game uh, at the moment, but uh, according to the data, Vanos is the best monster in the game at the moment. More kids want to play with Vanos than they want to play with Ignis by three. Uh, there's three more kids playing with uh, Vanos than Ignis. Uh, but... Also, Ignis is a team monster, he's a support monster, meaning, like, he can work with so many strategies and so many different abilities and so many, he can do so many different things, he's so flexible, whereas Thanos has kind of really only got one game plan, and that's, that's just to smash someone's head in. Like, he doesn't really do, like, you're not going to get much more out of Thanos than just smash. Uh, Ignis, not the same story, so, like, if I... Again, that right there just tells me that I still think Ignis is the best monster in the game. And I think Lonrad is the second best monster in the game. Uh, I think Vanos is top five. Vanos, to me, if he's not level 150, he's pretty much a legend annihilator. Meaning, like, you can destroy the legends with him, but as soon as you get up to the mythics and the cosmics, you hit them and they still, they still live. Like, I mean, sure, you can, you know, use your fire move on a nature and take it out, but for the most part, like, if you try to AoE, like, dodge even, or AoE damage even my team, I'm going to be alive afterwards. Like, unless you're rank 150 and you got, you know, 210 strengths on, then yeah, you're going to get me. You're going to kill my Nora in one hit. Um, but I'm guessing, uh, which monsters that I really think, like like I said, they've got me stuck, whereas they got rid of the flash rank when I needed it because the monsters that were the better monsters, I ended up hard ranking, which put them out of my pay range in Amber to be able to bring up the flash rank option again. Meaning, like, if I could go back in time, I would unrank my moon haste so that way when I paid 700 Amber, which I easily have over here, I could have the options to rank my moon haze some more whereas now i don't have 1500 amber so i can't bring up those options same thing with tanya guys um and i know i said that i wouldn't be ranking heist but trust me heist is definitely on my he's on my opinion mon or on my list too because he's immune to control at rank three guys but i just figure out getting there on my own but what about rank five like he could be Maybe something to stop my defense from losing. Like, look at what is going on in my log here, man. We are talking about six wins on defense. I've lost 79 more times than I won on defense. That's not the same defense team that's got all the losses. I've been switching it around trying to find different teams, but it doesn't matter. Now, the reason why I think it doesn't matter is because I think the more you win on offense, the more you're going to be fed losses on defense. I think that's the way they've got the AI programmed. But the ones that I haven't ranked that I can rank would be monsters like Bombetta, uh, 
which when I'm looking back at the list, it looks like it seems pretty solid. Why? Because there's shit ton of people using day, which means I'm going to predict that in the future, meaning if we check again in a week and a half from right now or a week from right now, I think the number of bombettas in the top 25 is going to go up and the number of days in the top 25 is going to go down. That's my guess. Uh, now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's my guess on what's going to happen. So in my boat, I think if I was going to spend gems, it's probably smarter to spend the gems on the, the cosmic mythic tank than it is the regular mythic tank. And it's also worth noting that I'm going to be getting the 70 cells, you know, eventually every day from the dungeon. Whereas right now, I'm, I'm getting beat up in the dungeon. Uh, and I really got beat up in the chest dungeon. I've lost like 20-some chests out of potential chests uh, this go-around. So out of the ones that I have, um, I'm really leaning towards maybe rank 3 Erder. Uh, and... Aside from rank 3 Erder, I'm leaning towards... Lawn Red. Whereas, I guess I gotta go to the rank up because they don't all show there. I'm not planning on day, so yeah, like I was saying. Uh, Erder, and then maybe if I do need a Pure Sky, we could think about uh, the little rip-off one move Pure Sky, but I doubt it. I don't think I need it. Um, so I'm looking at Erder, and I'm looking at Lawnrad, and those are the two that I've got my eyes on. Uh, Lawnrad, I'm thinking 140 or 150, depending upon the gem price. Uh, if it's 2,500 gems to rank five Lawnrad, that's that's not that's reasonable. I think we might do it. 2,500 gems to rank Lawnrad doesn't seem like the end of the world. Uh, and then if it's only like 700 gems to rank 3 Erder. I'm thinking we might do that too. I'm thinking Lawn Red and Erder might be nice upgrades to my um, to my defense. Uh, and then maybe when I get my Black Feather attack team rolling, I can just move my Ignis over with those. And then I could have like Ignis, Erder, and Lawn Red on defense. Uh, but really, I, I think it might, Simus might still be staying on defense for a while. So I don't know. Like, Anyone who has opinions, or if you're in the same boat, whereas you've been, you know, struggling to figure out which ones that uh, you want to flash rank, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think uh, we should be doing with the 9,400 gems? I plan to try and make some more gems. Uh, you've seen that I have a couple of tasks still open. They don't have time limits on them. I will be working on them, uh, probably not today, but tomorrow. I still haven't been to bed yet. I stayed up to make sure that I got that last slot done on time. I didn't think I was going to get it done. I only had uh, two days left to make 20 levels, and I still pulled it off some magical way. Yes, I played like uh, 15 hours or more, but I also did it AFK, meaning it was just running on auto spins in the background of my game. Or not the background of my game. On a second phone, but behind my, like, playing Monster Legends and watching television. So to me, that's AFK enough to be called AFK. And I do know that every single race I plan to buy the 325 rune chest. Uh, and that should get me a better jump on uh, some better runes. And I plan to still be making top 500 every single uh, season now. That's the goal uh, until we can make it into Legend 1. Is to stay in Legend 2 every season. Why? Because we can get a level 9 rune. So that's definitely what we want to be doing. And that's also what's got me over here, you know trying to make sure that I buy the right monsters gem-wise so that we don't fall behind in the meta and that we can stay busy and stay profiting our account so that we can keep moving forward. Uh, that is the game plan. So now I'm going to go ahead and move into PvP so we can get a look and see what's going on. I got an egg slot left. Uh, and by the way, I know they nerfed the eggs, but uh, I still got a decent egg if you look at this. And then... Uh, again, though, thinking about the Cosmic, since I mainly only mentioned uh, Mythics for ranking, Hardy is on my mind, uh, but I'm, it's, I just rather wait and see for a better one to come out. Uh, and I feel like Kodama only needs to be rank 1 for me. Uh, and I feel like Bombetta only needs to be rank 3, but I might flash rank to rank 3 since my team bought me 
a bunch of cells. I just don't know. It would give me another Megaton, but I have Santa and I have a Jewel, and I still feel like they can eat it. They can eat the hit, meaning they can still soak the one hit up like I need a Megaton to do. But uh, to have a more consistent Megaton, one that eats more than one hit, Bombetta might be the way to go. Like he could be used in the. Uh, in the dungeons with Ignis, and you could heal him back up with Ignis and stuff, so it's definitely noteworthy. Uh, also, that piece of junk, free-to-play slug, um, he does pretty well in the dungeons because dungeons aren't humans and they don't have relics, so, like, Santa Madrina is relevant. It just misses a lot. That's what caused me to get beat up in the dungeon is when my stuff misses, and then it's like, oh, man, you get possessed or something, and then you just lost the whole node. Everything crashes at that point. Alright, so I'm still having the exact same problem I've been having with this team, is that without taking runes off I and making them lower, I have no idea how to make my Ignis faster than my Tanya and keep my Nora close, meaning I can only make my Ignis a giant gap faster than my Tanya, or I can make my Tanya and my Ignis a giant gap faster than my Nora. There's no way to keep them close other than have Tanya go first like I have it set up right now. Uh, and I'll show you when we get in the fight what I mean. Alright, so let me check the speeds and show you. We got 13.6 with a 13.1, so a 500 jump and then a 200 jump. That's what I'm working with there. 500 jump, 200 jump. If Ignis could go first, it would stop my Tanya from being denied by like say stun or something because Ignis is immune to control which means he didn't get stunned and then he could unstun everybody uh, in these fights I'd love to kill the attacker um, but I honestly I have to deal with the revive guy before the attacker otherwise the attacker just comes back with evade and it's really rough because I can't deal with it mainly because I'm I'm under bleed, so I think we lost this fight, but what levels are there, guys? Like, you know, when I say I lost a fight, let's look at this three, six. Yeah, I lost a fight to nine, ten runes, and two level 150s. Well, and I don't own any 150s. Like, so it's very rare that I get beat by what social point claims is fair fights uh, but it is fair that everybody gets to use their stuff that's why I support just battling based off trophies um, I'm just going to throw this fight mainly because you have so much time before you get attacked again uh, this is one of those ones that's annoying oh my goodness that made it even more annoying. Uh, I guess we're going to try and see if we can get a vulnerable cast it over on Rag and then see if this will kill him. It will not kill him. Damn it. At least it pushes Graken that I have to, yeah, pick. Can't do it all, Graken. Uh, here. I'm going to have to heal. I think we're beat. Just because of that stupid ass evade trigger, dude, God. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. If he wouldn't have got the evade trigger, I could have trade disabled him and killed Rag in one hit, and then we'd have had a chance in that fight, but what can you do about against chance? Uh, this one is one of them ones where, like, I wish my Tanya went second. Hmm. I don't think Hardy can one-shot me. I don't want to give him an attack either, though. We're definitely healing here. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is where it gets rough because he's still got the hardy to beat on me. Uh... I got shit here. I think we lost. They got rid of my attacker too early. Yeah, get out of here too. Getting my ass beat. But I'm also <laughs> outgeared in every single damn fight. Like that is so pain in the ass to play a game where everyone's got better shit than you. But I guess that's what you get when you're free to play. This guy's pulling sixes on his on his tremor like if his Vanos would have went right after we would have been dead uh, I think the play is get aggressive get rid of his anticipate see what we get our vulnerable cast on see how hard this hits we gotta get him down to 98 there's two hits on him all right, so he's in death range. We gotta get him down to 85, which isn't gonna happen, but it might happen with the uh, poison trigger. Uh, we'll cleanse so that way we can, well, I guess it didn't matter because I'm damage boosting to kill this guy. I used the wrong move. I could have just killed him with the last attack move. I'm just going to fight till my defense loses. Finally got my egg. I guess it was worth it if I ended up with a... Maybe if I would have beat them other teams, I would have only got a little bronze egg. Uh, they don't have runes on the one guy, but they do have a lot of diamond relics. Pretty ones. Alright, so... We're going to vulnerable cast on them, so... I don't really need anything here. Gonna try for days. We got it. Go for the vulnerable. We got it. And then I don't want to get... This guy had no runes, right? Yeah, so he's the one I want to leave alive. And then I want to make sure that these guys are as dead as possible. He's the only one with a vulnerable trigger, though, so let's kill him. Uh. Damage boost will let me kill just the one guy, I think. No, we can get them both. Alright, so I'm not really familiar with how good the Thunder Kong guy is. I haven't seen him much. I'm going to heal. I think we would have lost that if that dude had strength through and two strength and one speed. I'm almost for sure we would have lost. Oh, there's my defense loss. Alright, so tonight's video was a half hour long. You guys got to see my massive free-to-play gem pile. Uh, and you got to see my ideas of where we're going, where we're leaning towards in the ranking. Uh, since Moonhaze is out of cell range and Tanya is out of cell range, the monsters that are in my cell range that could be very effective to go over it one last time before I end is... Erder and Londrad. Those are the two that I've got my eye on. And and Bombetta, potentially Bombetta. So anyway, guys, thanks to everyone who's been tuning into my channel. Uh, later.